the DR650 S definitely weighs in at the bottom of the range for two dual sport machines at 366 pounds. What? A single down tube, double cradle frame made from tubular stock with a rectangular down tube gets things started in the right light direction, and I find the double cradle arrangement to be more appropriate for rough terrain since it doubles as a sort of underguard for the engine. Not quite the same as a proper skid plate, available as an accessory, but better than nothing, and certainly a better arrangement than a stressed engine frame design that leaves the engine well exposed and vulnerable to terrain strikes. Stock round clearance is 10.4 inches, but this isn't carved in stone by any means. Suspension height at both ends may be lowered through the use of an accessories kit, necessarily with a concurrent reduction in seat height and ground clearance. The suspension itself is definitely set up with true off-road working mind, and the DR605S is not a soccer mom equivalent. Suspension travel is right at 10.2 inches front and rear, which is definitely in dirt bike country, in the rear. Coil over monoshock comes with adjustable compression damping and preload for a little bit of ride flexibility. In an effort to increase the effectiveness of the suspension, Suzuki runs lightweight brake discs and hollow axles to help keep unsprung weight to a minimum, and reduce the amount of work the shocks have to do in order to keep the wheels on the ground.